Hi, I'm Mo Zedisa, Fast VPN Product Manager at Namecheap. And in today's video, we'll cover the following topics. Why do we need a VPN? What are the benefits of a VPN? What is a VPN and how does it work? How do we choose the right VPN? Let's just start. If you, like me, play online games, stream online, access news, walk to coffee shops, airports, restaurants, use public Wi-Fi, you may want to consider a VPN. Say you walk to a coffee shop, grab your coffee, take a seat, open your laptop. One of the first thing you do is connect to the nearest public Wi-Fi. Now, this is where most people become vulnerable to hackers. What they typically do is to create a fake yet very convincing hotspots. Now, you may not want to care to say, I have nothing to hide. Wherever I browse, there's nothing to hide. But what you may want to care is if you're having your personal information that can be exposed, such as credit card information, passwords, your personal email information, your contacts, this is where you're going to be careful. Not to forget, whenever you're browsing online, your internet service provider can uh, lock your browsing activity. And if they're not already logging. Now let's go to uh, the overall benefits. As we said, Definitely secures your privacy. It protects your privacy, secures your online activity, and you're safe on public Wi-Fi. It also hides your IP address, which what it does is allows you to truly browse anonymously. And by doing so, you bypass geolocation restrictions. You may not be able to access without it some news that are outside of where you physically are, or uh, streaming services, or just other type of global content. Now, what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. What this does is, let's say you have a physical device, can be a PC or Mac or iOS or Android, um, or even a router. You have the VPN protocol that is being used on your device. What that protocol does, it would encrypt your information. By encrypting, what it happens is your information, even the data if it's being intercepted, in the middle cannot be accessed because it's not readable. It's in an other word, gibberish. And it only becomes readable at the destination server. So let's take an example. I'm in Toronto, Canada, and I connect to a server in Rio de Janeiro. If the data gets intercepted in the middle, it's not going to be readable because it would encrypt it and it becomes readable only at the destination server from Rio de Janeiro. Whatever site I access from there, it all gets exposed at the server IP of the server in Rio de Janeiro. This is in a nutshell how it works. The other thing you gotta be pay attention to, if your VPN is using the latest protocols, this is where it not only impacts security, but it can, you can also experience uh, in another way, uh, a latency. So now, how do we choose the right VPN? The first thing you wanna consider is, is it free or if it's trial or paid? There's a distinction. If it's free, you want to be careful that the company you're dealing with is not um, logging your information and selling your browsing activity. This is how they could potentially make money. If it's trial, this is uh, better, what we say, because trial is companies that would allow you to try the product, but you end up still going on a paid model. Um, definitely paid, this is something you're going to be careful versus free trial. In both cases, you want to read the policy, making sure that they're not logging uh, your browsing activity. The other aspect you want to pay attention to is where you physically are, is it legal to use a VPN? Um, are there enough servers? Because if I'm in, let's say, Melbourne, and the company I'm dealing with has the only nearest server they have is in Canada, that's not going to be uh, very efficient. Definitely want to make sure that there's enough servers to cover your needs especially if you want to use it for streaming, you want to make sure that it ha they have servers on the destination needed for your browsing activity for your streaming. So let's say I want to watch a show on Netflix in the US, I want to make sure that they have enough servers in the United States. And lastly, you want to make sure that they're using the latest protocols. Now, the latest protocols, there are various protocols and you can, you can find the various, I'm not going to go into detail of that, 
Uh, however, uh, one thing you're going to pay attention, the recent protocols, not only they're better in terms of security to protect your data, but also they may have an impact uh, on what you may experience as latency. This is where people say VPN is slowing my internet. It's not necessarily the VPN, it's the protocol that is being used because the time to encrypt and decrypt, this could create some lag where you may experience that. Now, latest protocols um, and more soon protocols, they are much lighter and they are faster when it comes to time to encryption and decryption. Not only they're secure, but also you experience less of a latency. That is all for today. I'm Moza Disa, Fast VPN Product Manager in Nimchi, and I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.